Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. And learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're going to be recreating this Wall Street Journal chart. Here's a picture of what the final output's going to look like. Um, and uh, one of our viewers gave me a great name for it. Wouldn't sh wasn't sure what to call it. He said it would be a double lollipop chart. Um, I kind of like that. So uh, let's go ahead and move this off to the right and. Uh, Let's um, create what we need for the chart. First thing, uh, the year here. Um, in our, let me move it back. Um, in our horizontal axis, you'll notice the years are a single quote and uh, the last two digits of the year. So we should go ahead and just do that in our series data um, originally. So luckily, I already made these dates. So you can just go ahead and highlight this column. Go up to your number format on your home page go down to more number formats up right now for four digits on this date and if I go ahead and um, get rid of that and just do a single quote YY that will show us the last two digits of the year for that date column go ahead and press OK as you can see our year is all set up now um, now let's take a look one more time at our chart the other thing that we have here that I know is going to cause us a problem is this thick black line here at zero um, since every other grid line is the single dashes I'm going to probably need to create a data series to mimic that zero line all the way across there. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, create that. So what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and create another series called zero. Um, and I am going to put zero all the way in there by hitting control enter. So now we have our data series set up. Let's go ahead and highlight that entire range. Um, we're going to then go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to go to a line chart. From our line chart, we're going to pick a standard line with markers chart in the 2D section. All right, so from here, um, what we want to do is uh, our chart actually looks pretty good. I like it. Um, it uh, uh, may even represent better in my mind um, the data than with the double lollipop. But let's go ahead and recreate the double lollipop. So first thing we need to do is let's add a chart title. So you're going to select your chart. You're going to go up to the layout ribbon. We're going to go to the chart title button and we're going to do above the chart and we're going to call this uh, let's double click in there and just type in running behind the bulls all right and then um our legend is in the wrong spot we want to move our legend it's under the same layout ribbon i'm going to do our legend uh show legend at top that's the one we want now also in here is a zero uh, for that zero line. We want to take that out of the legend by just double clicking on the legend once and then click on the legend uh, value of zero and hit your delete key. Okay, so uh, pretty close here. Now let's go ahead and focus on the vertical axis. Um, we have 30% to negative 40%, but our Excel uh, goes a little bit above and beyond that. So we want to fix that. Also, we have no vertical line here. We need to fix that. Um, and then that should get the vertical axis to look like we want. Let's go ahead and right click on the axis, do format axis. We need to change the minimum to point, negative 0.4 and the maximum to 0.3. Um, and we also said the line color, we want to make no line so that there is no line over on the uh, next to the vertical axis. Now, one other thing I did notice is you notice our horizontal um, axis here is at zero, and we really want it to be all the way down at the bottom. You think you would affect that with your horizontal axis options, but you really uh, have to do it from your vertical axis, and it's this one down here. Horizontal axis crosses at maximum axis value, axis value of zero. We want to change that axis value to be negative 0.4, and uh, notice it is moved to the very bottom down here on our chart. All right, so we're getting pretty close. Let's go ahead and change our grid lines. Go ahead and select um, all of the grid lines. Hit Control-1 or right-click and do Format Grid Lines. We want to do a line style of this first dash type right there. And we want to change this to a zero point. Uh, and let's make sure the line color is a solid line of black. Close. All right, uh, let's see. So we have a few other things to do. Um, first and foremost, um, this zero line right here, we want to go ahead and right click on it and do format data series. From there, we want to do marker options of none. 
we want to do a line color of a solid line and choose black and um, I don't like the how thick it is so I want to change this down to say uh, zero as well and then we should be able to click on close now um, that line it's gonna cause us problems with our final thing so we actually need to move it to the secondary access so let's go back into the data series uh, options and we want to do secondary access for it now it's moved it to the very bottom but that's because of the values on our secondary vertical access we can just go ahead and get rid of that secondary vertical axis by clicking on it and hitting your delete key you'll see that black line is now moved back to the zero area all right let's take a look at our uh, vertical axis or horizontal axis down here on the bottom let's go ahead and right click on that and do format access we want to um, first thing at the very bottom here position access we want to do on tick marks that is going to stretch it out to the very sides uh, so that the zero uh, the years are right under the tick marks instead of between the tick marks then um, what we also want to do is we want to change the line to line style uh, to do those small dashes as well all right just a couple things to go and then we should be done um, notice the final chart doesn't have any lines going in between each of them so we need to get rid of the lines and change the markers uh, let's go ahead and do that by um, right clicking on any one of the lines do format data series we want to do marker options let's choose the built-in marker of this circle marker fill now let's see which series we have here this is the actual gain over on our final chart actual gain is going to be solid so we probably can just go ahead and leave that one alone but let's just choose solid fill and choose our color to make sure they match let's do marker line color of a solid line and do that same dark red and we want to do line color of no line that's how we're going to get rid of the lines and uh, I think we're done with that one now you do not need to get rid of this format series dialog box you can just come back in and select your other line and repeat a lot of these steps we want to do a built-in with the circle as our marker options our marker fill we want to do a solid fill um, and in since this is the average forecast uh, you'll notice in our final chart over here average forecast has got white in the center so we want to do a solid fill of white background our line color is no line our line um, our marker line color is going to be a solid line and it's going to be that red color now let's click on close and see what we've got um, so you can see we've got the lollipop parts but we don't have the sticks so we've got our double lollipops but no sticks so how we do that and that's the final step here is just go ahead and select the data series go up to your layout ribbon then over on the right in the analysis section you have these lines a button as a choice and the lines button there is a third choice here that says high low lines it's going to draw a line between the highest and lowest data point on this uh, um, series now if we had left that zero this is why we moved that zero to the secondary axis we hadn't moved that to the secondary axis it actually would have caused us problems thinking that the zero for here that red line would have went all the way down to zero so once again uh, this is Steve equals true uh, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful in uh, recreating this Wall Street Journal chart uh, you learned about the high low lines and uh, please visit my blog at excel dashboard templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts tips tricks and techniques also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel so you get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.